an over-the-shoulder video of my DistroKid account. Hi guys, Irvisini from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Welcome to my music channel. Remember that if you are signing up to DistroKid using my link, you'll get a 7% discount. Check out in the description box below. I already published a DistroKid review four years ago. At that time, I was enrolled in the musician program. I only had one artist name and that was all needed. I had to upgrade my account to the Musician Plus program because I created more artist names. With the Musician Plus plan, you can upload unlimited lyrics and sync them with Instagram. You have access to daily stats and you can create a custom label name. In addition, you can customize release and pre-order dates and set iTunes pricing. Also, you can manage two artists or band names. That is the strange thing about it. I have three artist names. So I guess you have the primary account name provided by the regular musician plan and two extra ones coming from the Musician Plus account. These are they upgraded their policies since I signed up. If you are a music producer or are managing five or more bands, you can upgrade to the label plan. For $80 a year, you can manage up to 100 bands. In addition, you have access to all the options offered in the Musician Plus plan. I'm going to show you how to upload a single, because today I'm, I am uploading a single, so check it out. You have the choice between the number of songs, single, or you have to choose up to 50 songs in an album. You have to choose the artist or band name. I'm going to stick with my main account. I'm releasing it today, no need to um, set a different date, uh, no pre-order. And you have to upload an, an image for the singer or the album. Uh, and it has to be 3000 by 3000 pixels. This is uh, the file I'm going to upload, but uh, I keep it the same way. I'm just changing the picture and the name of the song or the album. And it's a 3000 by 3000 um, pick. primary genre it's a rock instrumental rock so let's say rock they are don't they don't have many choices in terms of uh, music types but it doesn't really matter the genre if it's applied so well it's not really metal but uh, it's heavy so let's say metal I don't know and then the name of the song Barry bust Oh, they changed it since the last uh, release. I didn't have this ad feature artist to song title. Normal version. Okay, so now I have to choose the WAV file. You have to upload WAV file, not MP3 or whatever. Yeah, it has to be the best quality possible. So here is the WAV file I mastered. First name, me. I don't know why you have to repeat that. It wasn't like that before, but anyway. <coughs> No explicit lyric, it's an instrumental song, it is a radio edit. No instrumental, this song contains no lyrics, pretty good. Preview clips, talk time, yep. And the iTunes price. Now you have the extras. Uh, I'm never picking YouTube Content ID because it's four times, it's almost five dollars a song, plus 20% of YouTube ad revenue from matches we detect. And uh, when you know the price, the money, the income you are making on YouTube, uh, you have to wish that the guy who steals your song had millions of you because it's always going to cost you more to, to, to pay the service than the money you are going to collect. Same as this one, Storm Maximizer. Oh, they, they increase the price. $7.99 a year per song or per album. So it's extremely expensive. And you don't need to be added to all the new small unknown uh, streaming platforms because uh, with the money you are making on online, um, Spotify, Deezer, and iTunes and Amazon are more than enough. And I'm making peanuts with all the others, so there is no same same as the YouTube content ID. You will never cover this price uh, to be added to a new. Uh, 
songs. I did, I choose it for a couple of albums and I stopped choosing for all the new ones and honestly I don't see any difference. I am only using Shazam and iPhone Siri. Uh, no need to be mastered, my song is pretty well mastered and uh, I'm not intend to leave a legacy. It's uh, $29 one time fee non recurring. If you intend to die and you want your music to survive, you can choose it. But uh, even if I'm an old dude, I'm not expecting to die anytime soon. So I see that uh, hopefully in 20 years from now. So now check be sure that everything is cool so i selected youtube music as a store i recorded this music and i and i'm an authorized to sell i am not using any other huh? and i read okay so now before hitting the yes button let's check everything snapshot well why not Yes. Anyway, as I said, only Spotify, uh, Amazon, Deezer, uh, Apple Music, and Tidal, I, uh, and iTunes are, are good, are enough. The f the name of the song is good. The file is the good one. Yeah. Uh, music and lyrics, it's me, it's only music because there is no lyrics. Uh, I don't know the songwriter, no. No explicit lyrics, no radio edit, it's an instrumental. Uh, I don't care. Price, only Shazam. And I select, oh, I have opted into the. Uh, yes, that's a new one that appeared just because I selected it. Uh, okay, done. That's it. So, now checking the artwork and the track. And as you can see, it's extremely fast. Okay, done. So, the art was accepted and also the song. So, now you have to wait uh, from two, three days to a week to be uh, online at a, on uh, every uh, streaming platform. So that's all there is to it in terms of editing a song, it is that easy. So as you can see, if you... So now let's browse a little bit into the site. So the upload is where I'm, co I'm coming from. My music is all my albums and singles. As you can see, it's not... When it's processing, all those ones are online. So this is my latest single and this, those are all my albums. Uh, this one is under another name, that's why I opt to uh, upgrade my account. So here is my second name, Deng Yai, it's uh, what I'm singing into funk rock Thai. Uh, and I have this other one, Denton Q, which is my third name and my main, uh, my main um, name and my real name, which is uh, where I am using to release most of my uh, music. So as you can see all the one with all this are the ones that I selected to be updated to all the new shop as soon as I had one and all those one are not and uh, I don't see any difference in earning between those and those because <laughs> there's no way you can make a fortune out of music online. But anyway it's just more for the the fun of producing your own music and to be accessible to the world than making a career unless you are already known or you are in a band playing a lot in your country like you are really popular into the local crowd like playing every week in a club with your band and you have your uh, then you can make a little money otherwise so now splits is if you write um, so this is new if you write a song with someone you just have to add his name and you don't even have, it doesn't have to be uh, a dis destructive members or anything, you just put it there and um, when you make money they are sending him his, his share without even having you to do anything. And finally the bank. I do not recommend you to use any of those uh, 
boats and uh, MMS sites because you are going to be blacklisted from all the streaming platforms and they are not going to pay you the money they owe you because you are shitting. So do your promotion on social media and YouTube and everything and uh, stay clean. And don't expect to make a living out of it unless suddenly you're on TV or whatever. And finally the good is, so most of them are, in my mind, uh, at least, well up to me they are useless. The playlist spotlight, if you vote on it, like uh, your song is going to be on their uh, playlist, which is really cool, but uh, you, you are not staying there more than an hour or two because everybody is voting, probably using bots. I tried three, four times, and you, you cannot vote more than once a day, so you do all this BS for uh, nothing. Well, you have to check for yourself personally, I'm not using any of this. I'm using maybe this one. You take a song, for example, this one, and you generate promo card, and then you can use any of this to uh, advertise on social media like Facebook or cell phone or whatever. And this is, in, it can be interesting. You won't make a huge difference using this, but it allows you to have many different visual, just clicking on one button and you can use all this to promote whatever you want. But uh, I probably used the once and uh, anyway. So here is all my album and singles and uh, that's it. The audio and uh, it's good, so it's processing the album. You can see more detail here, so let's see more detail here. And um, as you can see, this is the page of my single. And the single was successfully processed and delivered to stores. Uh, artwork is good, song is good, uh, credit, Dynon, the I ISRC number, uh, I get 100% of my Incomes, which is the only that offers that. All the other ones are more expensive as are taking a, a cut on your incomes. This is my record label name, and this is where they submitted my single. Okay, and I this is a page they made to uh, promote the song on social media, where you have the song, the preview, and with the avail, so you can use that. And when the song is released, they are automatically automatically making another of this page, but with all the links to all the um, the site you submitted to. So let's see if I have one for my older album, um, because this is nice to send traffic to that. And if you are using MMS, it's really strong, interesting to send traffic to this because you are not cheating because um, you are not sending bots to directly to um, streaming sites, but to a, a page, so it's cool. And every time, uh, where is it? Uh, here, here is one. For example, you see when the, this is my other name, when the song is released, when the album is uh, available, you have all of them. You see, so it's really nice to send traffic to that using MMS or social media or whatever and every time uh, someone click on the Spotify link it is added to as a follower automatically on Spotify and it's not shitting because they are making it directly with Spotify so if Spotify is unhappy with it they are going to talk to DistroKid and not to you so whatever happens it's clear it's, it's, uh, it's okay you know and uh, that's about it so in a couple of next week when the single is uh, online, I'm going to receive a page like that for my single instead of my album. And uh, that's about it. So up to now, like, I'm going to use this one. You can even share Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Extra, Shazam, and that's about it. Tipod, you selecting an option that you do not want anymore. You cannot unselect it. You must erase the song and upload it again with different extras. Thanks for watching my video and remember that if you are using my link to sign up to this rocket, you will get a 7% discount. Check it out. Welcome to my music channel.